Hello, I'm Annabel Brodie-Smith, Communications Director of the Association of Investment Companies. Today, we're taking a look at the investment company infrastructure sector. This sector was launched in 2006 and has grown from strength to strength. Infrastructure is now the fourth largest investment company sector. The sector has total assets under management of nearly 9 billion and has a yield of just under 5%. Today, we're joined by the managers of two infrastructure companies. Harry Seekings, Director at Infrared Capital Partners, Investment Advisors to Hickel Infrastructure, which was the first investment company to be launched in March 2006, and Greg Taylor, Co-Portfolio Manager of Sequoia Economic Infrastructure Income, which is the latest investment company launched in March 2015. Right, on to the questions. Infrastructure, it's a broad term. So Harry, what do you invest in? So the first thing to note about Hickel is it makes equity investments in infrastructure assets. Um, it's trying to build a, a portfolio of assets which are positioned at the lower end of the risk spectrum of infrastructure investments. And, and maybe just to say a little bit more about what that is. So uh, we segment infrastructure by different types of revenue. Why revenue? Well, when people think of infrastructure, they think of long-term stable cash flows. And that starts with revenue. So Hickel invests in projects with stable revenue streams. That would include public-private partnerships, where the underlying assets have contracts with public sector counterparties. Um, we also invest in regulated assets. So these are assets with regulatory price controls. So for example, water utilities or um, gas or tr electricity, transmission and distribution companies which are regulated by the likes of Ofwat and Ofgem. And we also invest in um, certain types of assets which have demand risk. Um, so an example of that might be a toll road, for example. So if, if a toll road has a, um, a good, clear track record of stable operations, that might be an appropriate uh, investment for Hickel if, as it looks to build a, this portfolio of infrastructure investments, which is, as I said, positioned at the lower end of the risk spectrum. And just as a footnote for that, why are we so keen on, um, on these types of investments? Well, it, Hickel's investment proposition is very much about delivering a, a stable long-term income to its investors. And our view is that the, the infrastructure I just described um, fits within that investment proposition and helps to sustain it um, for shareholders. So a very diversified portfolio with different types of infrastructure assets. Yes, I mean, we have, uh, Hickel has, as of today, about 115 investments in the portfolio, so it, it is highly diversified. Um, I'd say that about 80% of that where we are today is, is invested in public-private partnerships, um, about 10% um, in regulated assets, and about 10% um, in, in um, operational toll roads or demand-based assets. So, Greg, what type of infrastructure do you invest in? So the name of the fund that we're investing uh, on behalf of us is a Sec Sequoia Economic Infrastructure Income Fund. Uh, that's a mouthful. We refer to it as SECI, which is its ticker on the London Stock Exchange. And the name of the fund is important because we're looking for income. So we're investing in debt instruments. We don't do any <coughs> equity investing. And economic infrastructure for us is primarily infrastructure that has demand exposure. So we don't do a lot of availability uh, payment um, assets such as schools, hospitals, that kind of thing. But we're focused much more on assets where the revenues are driven by, by demand. The sorts of assets that we're investing in would be transportation, transportation assets, utilities, and some accommodation projects where there is a demand exposure, such as student housing or healthcare. I think what we like to say is that we're financing not only the infrastructure of today and yesterday, so how you or your parents got to work this morning, um, but also the infrastructure of today and tomorrow. And by that we mean uh, telecommunications, for example, broadband network, uh, fiber optic networks, uh, and data centers. So we have a very broad definition of infrastructure, and we're active across uh, 24 subsectors, I believe, and the fund has made more than 50 assets since we launched in uh, March of 2015. So again, a very diverse portfolio, big yes. definition of infrastructure there. Yeah. 